Hey everybody, here's a look at the Corpus Christi Lithium Refinery Plant. Well, it's been a few months since I've been back at the Corpus Christi Lithium Plant here in Robstown, Texas. And as you can see behind me, there is a lot of progress in the last four months since I was here and I got in a great drone video. But first, this is a quick shot driving down the frontage road near the actual refinery and this gives you a really good idea of what you would see as you are driving in. And of course this frontage road uh, it parallels the main facility. I'm heading to the south right to off to the right of the screen is the railroad and of course they're going to be having a railroad spur that will connect this over to the main lithium plant. And uh, also as you can tell right behind me much more of the superstructure has been uh, put up around the site and that's very uh, evident as you drive up to see the lithium plant. Now a couple of things that I do want to highlight that uh, you'll see in the video today and first is that raw materials uh, processing facility, that large structure. Now this is where the raw spodumene concentrate 6 will be delivered by that rail spur. It'll come in from the port of Corpus Christi and that'll be sorted and then they have some conveyor cell belt systems that you can see in this image that helps to move that material from this uh, processing facility over to the main plant. Now of course the plant is broken up into three main parts. The pyrometallurgical uh, processing which is basically heating and that uses that uh, rotating uh, kiln and cooler system that you could see in this image. Now these are very large pipes uh, basically and they process this spodumene to get it into the right type of material before it goes through the hydrometallurgical processing which is more of a kind of uh, aqueous mixtures and different uh, chemicals. These are all inert chemicals that are used to further refine that uh, spodumene concentrate into eventually lithium hydroxide. And then of course with this image, uh, far side away from that raw processing facility is where that lithium hydroxide will be packaged up and then picked up by trucks and then moved a couple hours north to Giga, Texas. And that's where that cathode plant up at Giga Texas will take the outputs here as inputs and then they will begin making that uh, battery cathode material up at Giga Texas. So these two plants are definitely linked together. And there's a lot more that we will be seeing in the video today. I think this is a really great update over the last four months and I hope that you enjoy uh, what we're able to see and of course what I will be talking about during the entire video. And one last thing that I do want to show is I've got my Chopsticks Catching Booster 12 uh, shirt. I wasn't able to be at the actual launch and catch because I was out at the Wii Robot event in California and visiting family, but I got back as soon as I can and uh, thought I would take a chance to come down here and get you this video of the lithium plant. So without further ado, let's get the drone in the air. Let's fly around and see what the Tesla Corpus Christi lithium plant looks like today. If you would like to support my efforts, please consider using these links, which will be in the video description. If you are interested in Tesla products, you can help yourself and support me by using my referral code. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons on my YouTube video as this helps as well. Thank you. Well, it's good to be back here at, at Corpus Christi, or rather Robstown near Corpus Christi at the Tesla Lithium plant. Come in at a lower altitude for a overall look at the first half of the processing plant and all of the superstructure that is being installed along this side of the site. Also a great view here across the entire site and uh, where we can see those uh, kind of trailers grouped in the middle of the screen. That's where 
the groundbreaking took place back in May of 2023. So what we are seeing here on the center left-hand side of the screen is how the main plant itself is being designed. Uh, there's going to be a kind of a mirror of the items that you see on the left, and it'll be in the middle where you see that kind of uh, rectangular pond at the moment. And in the distance is that large raw materials processing facility with some of the conveyor belts, and we will get a much closer view of that. In the foreground is some of the material staging yard. Also looks like some transformers for maybe more electrical system. And of course, all of the parking lots are full, not only of contractors, but also Tesla employees here at the site. Now, as I have mentioned on several previous videos, these large ponds that you see are not part of the lithium processing. These are not brine tanks. What they are is a kind of reservoir of water for the site since there are no water utilities out here. And they use this not only for the site itself, and there is a plant off to the left with those white trailers and some pumps, but they also use this to keep the dirt down and the dust down during the construction process. And this overall view here, kind of mimics the official rendering that we have seen in the past. And I put a little bit of that at the end of the intro, if you want to go back and take a look at this. Now, as I bring the drone in closer over to these ponds, I wanted to give you a look at the facility from this perspective. And again, the trailers in the center left is where this all began, that Quonset hut in the middle has been here for some of the workshops and maintenance and also just storage for a while. These two smaller silver Quonset huts is in the area where we saw the rotating kiln and cooler being assembled early on late la or early last year. And this dirt road that I am flying over right now, and of course the power lines you see on the left of the dirt road, this is all part of what is powering the entire site. And as I turn the drone to look back to the north, we can follow this dirt road and the power lines all the way up to the electrical substation that has been installed and is what is providing the power at the upper left-hand side of the screen. And almost all of the land that you see here to the north along this entire area belongs to Tesla and is room for expansion sometime in the future. And as I uh, would remind you, I did a six-part series where I showed you a lot of the details about this site, including all of the land purchases. So I'd recommend you take a look at that. It's on my playlist on my YouTube channel. But now here's a good look from this perspective across the entire site, back to that main processing part of the plant. And of course, the raw materials facility here in the center left more of the material staging off to the right and some kind of interesting white tanks with silver cones here on the center right of the screen as well. I'm going to fly over this material staging yard and uh, let you take a look at uh, some of the materials that are stored on this part of the site. As I turn back to the main processing plant, this is a nice look at the raw materials processing facility on the left. And we also see a forklift coming out of that uh, large receiving door, more receiving doors on this kind of projection of the building. And as I zoom in, a great look at some of the towers, the conveyor system, the flags flapping in the breeze, very nice to see US and Texas flags on top of those towers some of the stairways and other equipment. And then here is the main pyrometallurgical processing part of the factory and the large kind of rusty cylinder on the center of the screen is that uh, rotating kiln. And you can actually see some of the uh, mounts and the bearings that it is sitting on. And that is what allows that to turn while it is uh, heating up the raw spodumene concentrate six in alpha format. And after it goes through the 
kiln and then the rotating cooler on the bottom of the uh, part of that uh, structure in that middle left of the screen. That makes spodumene concentrate beta format. And then it comes into this part of the site. This is the hydrometallurgical processing. You see a lot of tanks, a lot of aqueous mixtures, and other processes that go through this part of the facility. And of course, they use uh, non-caustic materials and uh, processes, and they do not use brine tanks. And this is kind of what sets this plant apart. And throughout this entire middle section, Again, with all of this superstructure, many of the tanks that you see inside of that superstructure, all the way to this end of the building or the facility, this is where they do all of that hydrometallurgical processing. And on the end of the building where you see the forms and a ramp going into that low portion of the uh, facility and those white beams and columns. This is that final processing section. This is where it takes the refined lithium hydroxide, packages it up, and this is where the trucks will pick it up and then transport it to about uh, maybe four hours to the north to Giga Texas, and it will be an input to the battery cathode plant at Giga Texas. This is a nice look across the entire production facility and how it looks back towards that raw materials facility. Now, as I mentioned, that what you see on the left will eventually be mirrored on the right-hand side of the screen. So this will be parallel processing. And then right down the middle is where you see those large tanks and uh, some of the other materials, including some roof fan units that have been mounted on top of some of the superstructure. There continues to be more work on the ground here as they prepare to continue to expand this part of the facility. Now, what I understand is this half of the plant is trying to be completed enough so they can begin trial production sometime in early 2025. That's about a year later than what the original plan was. And as I've speculated, that could be related to the cost of lithium dropping across the world uh, and maybe slowing down the installation of this facility. But nevertheless, it does continue to progress. On the center left of the screen is, again, those rotating coolers. You can see the white jackets around that cooling uh, pipe. And then on the upper level is that rotating kiln that we talked about. And it looks like there's a control room of sorts being built in the middle section between what will be the two halves of that site. Now, this is a really great look at the uh, the conveyor system on this side of the raw materials uh, building. And this is what will take all of that uh, kind of uh, powdery spodumene concentrate six inside of this building, and it will transport it over to the plant for processing. As I zoom out, this is a bigger look across the entire side of how it appears. And we can look off into the distance. And again, much of the land that you see in the distance up to the tree line is also part of the lithium plant property. Many materials stored on this part of the site, especially on the right-hand side of the screen. This is that Quonset hut tent that has been used for materials and workshops. This is one of the first structures that we noticed on the site as it uh, was developing. And then as I get closer into all of these trailers, you'll see that uh, kind of archway and that grass area. I'll zoom in. You can take a look at it. You see it says Tesla Lithium. This is where the ground baking, breaking ceremony took place back in May of 2023. At that time, it was only the arch that was here. Everything else was just dirt and a couple of small trailers. Uh, there really wasn't much else. So as I bring the drone away and tilt it up, this gives you a really look, good look at how much has progressed and how much of the lithium plant uh, has been installed to this point. As I mentioned, where that uh, kind of rectangular depression is with all the water will be the second half of that uh, facility and that will fill out this entire part of this phase of construction. Now, from what I understand is somewhere into the future, after this is all completed, they may be constructing additional parts of the plant to do something called black mass recycling. That is the recycled materials that come out of the batteries minus the 
metal cans and some of the other impurities. And that will be a part of this plant once we get to that point. But that's probably going to be into 2027, 2028. First thing is to get to the first half of the plant, uh, as you see, being under construction right now, operational. And hopefully we'll see that in the first half of 2025. So that's a really good, I think, close-in look from many different angles of the Corpus Christi lithium plant. How it looks today, what the progress is and uh, just to what we can look forward to as this plant continues to, to develop. I'll continue to pull away and give you an overall view of all of the uh, land that uh, Tesla owns. Again, look at my six-part series and you'll get a lot more in-depth detail about uh, the site and other information. As always, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.